Good day. In this video, we're going to show you how to work out this flow diagram. Since the junior classes, we learned how to work with a flow diagram. This one just looks a little bit more complicated. On this side, they call these numbers x. They're also called the input values. They're also called the independent variable. On this side, we have a symbol y. It's our output values, also called the dependent variable. In the box here, we have the rule, or we can say it's an equation, or we can say it's a relationship between x and y. This way of writing initially can confuse you. So in the beginning, you might rewrite it and put the y on the other side. So we're going to take the minus 4, times it by the x, plus 1, and then get the y value. That is not the official way of writing it, so we're not going to do it in this video. There are some pre-knowledge that you need, so please look at the videos first. Integers, plus and minus, integers times and divide, and substitution, math do. If there is anything in this video that confuses you as we go. As you get better at this, you can actually stop writing so much. In this video, we're going to write quite a lot, just to show you how everything works. So firstly, they gave us x is minus 3. I must use this rule to find the y value so we write down the equation, the rule, then we replace the minus 3 into the place of x. So then we can say y equals to minus 4 times, and in a bracket I substitute the minus 3 plus 1. Now we do order of operations. First we're going to times and then plus. Minus 4 times minus 3 is plus 12, plus 12 plus that 1 is then 13, so y is 13, when x is minus 3. I fill the 13 in here. Now we do the same with minus 1. We substitute it in the place of x into the original equation. It'll look like this. We simplify this side. Minus 4 times minus 1 is plus 4, plus that 1 will give me 5. So an x value of minus 1, using this rule, will give me a y value of 5. Do the same with the 0, substitute it in here, it'll look like this, minus 4 times 0 plus 1, minus 4 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. So the x value of 0, using this rule, will give me a y value of 1. We do the same with 5, substitute it into this equation in a bracket, minus 4 times 5 is minus 20, plus 1 is minus 19. Stop the video and get your brain around this. Next, we must find out what was the input value which I put into this rule that gave me an output value of minus 27. And even in the junior classes, we've learned that if you go backwards, you do the opposite of what happened. So you take minus 27, minus 1 is minus 28, divide by minus 4 will give me my answer. These words might be overwhelming. But from here, the order of operations, we're going to do backwards. So if you work from here, there, we are working backwards. So the order of operations will also be backwards. We'll still use the rule. So we write down this equation. I'll change the color for you to remember that we're going to go backwards on the order of operations. But firstly, we take the minus 27, which is a y value. We put it in the place of the y. Keep the minus 4. Keep the times x. Keep the plus 1. Now we want to get the x alone. Again, there's a few ways of doing it. You can, for instance, use inspection and say minus 4 times what, get an answer, plus 1 will give me minus 27. A lot of kids can do that. But we're going to use another method. To get this x alone, there's a plus 1, so I'm going to minus 1 on both sides. So the minus 4 times x weights, and this becomes minus 27 minus 1. If you simplify this, you get minus 28 equals to minus 4 times x. Now we're going to do the opposite of times minus 4. We are going to divide by minus 4 on both sides. Or you may ask yourself, minus 4 times what will give me minus 28? Then your final answer is x equals to plus 7, which we can write in on the flow diagram. Then we can check it, 7 
I can put in the place of x, so minus 4 times 7 is minus 28. Minus 28 plus 1 is minus 27. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. So in grade 6, you've learned how to work with tables. So exactly the same question can now look like this. They give us a table. They give us the equation over here, the same as that rule we had over here. This is still my x's, which is my input values, and that's still my y's, which is my output values. I still have to work out all these values that we had to work out over there too. In algebra, we have a shorter way of writing minus 4 times x. We just write minus 4 and x right against it, plus 1. Then to find these values, I still write down this equation. I substitute the minus 3 in the place of x. Remember to substitute in brackets. And remember, if there is nothing between the 4 and the variable, there is a multiply. Now we go minus 4 times minus 3 is plus 12. And then plus that 1 gives us the y value as 13 that goes there. So we do exactly the same as what we did on the flow diagram. And then in the senior grades, this is what you will have on your calculator. You can use your calculator, put this formula into your calculator, and it'll give you this table using the table technique on your calculator. This table on the calculator looks very much the same as the flow diagram. There's my input values or my x values, and there's my output values next to them. When you get to the senior classes and you want to know how to do this on your calculator, you can send a request to this number and ask, and we send you a link that explains to you how to do this on your calculator. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel.